As part of your Robin Air refrigerant recovery machine, the optional nitrogen kit efficiently helps you to find leakages in a vehicle's air conditioning system. Either as a best practice service after flushing or when the system is losing refrigerant, a pressure leak test is recommended. First, the remaining refrigerant needs to be evacuated. Start the recovery function on the Robin Air unit and attach the red and blue service couplers to the car. Next, use a nitrogen gas bottle to find out if the system is leak-proof. Use the intuitive interface to start the test. The help messages will guide you step-by-step -step through the menu and to the N2 leak test. Connect the hose of the nitrogen bottle to the NX port. Then you will have to adjust the supply tank pressure regulator and the Robin Air unit is ready for the N2 leak test. After performing a vacuum phase, the nitrogen will automatically flow through the blue and red service hoses and pressurize the whole system. Then the unit starts to monitor and check the pressure values for a preset time. There you have it. The system pressure drops. Now that we know there is a leak, the N2H2 test comes into play. The nitrogen and hydrogen gas enable you to easily locate and find leaks. Remove the nitrogen supply tank and use the user interface to start the N2H2 leak check. Connect the yellow hose to the NX port and adjust the pressure as displayed in the help message. Hydrogen is thinner than refrigerant, so it will leak even through the smallest gaps and can be recognized by an electronic Robin Air leak detector. Once the system is under pressure again with nitrogen and hydrogen gas, it is time to check the connection of the AC circuit components. Move the leak detector slowly over the connecting elements and parts to finally find the leak. Detect even the smallest leakages using the N2H2 kit add-on from Robin Air.